Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Cloth Config API for Minecraft Java in 2025. So, let's get started. The first thing you will do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you're interested. But the first thing you will do is go to your search bar and search up for a website called ModWinf, like so. Once you entered, you should see ModWinf.com, simply click on the ModWinf link. And this should bring you to the modern homepage. Now, simply go to the top of the website to discover content and go down to mods. And as Cloth Config API is a popular mod slash dependency, you will see it quite high in the list. And if you don't see it, simply go to search mods and search it up here. But most cases, it will just be here. So. As for me, I'm just going to click the name here, so once you found Cloth Config API, click the name. And this will bring you to the homepage for Cloth Config API on ModWinf. Now, all you want to do is go to the Versions tab. And then you want to go to Game Versions. Here, you can select what type of versions for Minecraft you want to be playing on. So here, I'm going to choose the latest Minecraft version, so 1.1.4. And we have some choices here. Here we have Neoforge, Fabric and on some versions you also might have Forge. So I will just be using Fabric here. So if you want you can go on platform and choose Fabric or Neoforge and you'll see exactly what you have to download. So with these filters I'm going to be downloading the latest one for 1.0.4 Fabric. So just click the green download button when it shows up and then we now have Cloth Config API onto our downloads folder. Now, what you need to do is go to a new tab and you simply need to search up Fabric Minecraft. You need Fabric to use Cloth Config API. So simply look up Fabric Minecraft and once you do this, simply enter and you should see FabricMC.net. Simply click on the Fabric name here and this will bring you to the Fabric homepage. Now, simply click the blue download button and click the download for Windows button here. Once you did this, you should have Fabric Installer and Cloth Config API here. Once you're done, simply close your web browser, then go to your downloads folder. Now you might have a different downloads folder depending on your defaults, but for most of you guys, it will just be in the default Windows folder here. So the first step you want to do is double click Fabric Installer, and this will open up the installer window here. And you can choose your Minecraft version, but make sure it's the same version as Cloth Config API. As I chose the latest one, I don't need to change anything here. And you simply need to click Install, OK, and Close. It's quite fast. Now what you want to do is go to your Minecraft Launcher. And with the Minecraft Launcher, we will be able to add Cloth Config API to our Mods folder. So, here we have the Minecraft Launcher and we have Fabric Loader here. The first thing you want to do is go to Installations here on the top, and then you want to hover over Fabric and go to the folder icon. Then, simply find the Mods folder, like so, and once you find your Mods folder, simply double click it. Then, go to your Downloads folder, select Cloth Config, and then go to the Copy button, or just copy it. Then, go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder until you go to Dot Minecraft Mods, and click Paste. Now you're done. All you want to do is go back to the Minecraft Launcher, go to Play, make sure you have Fabric selected, and click Play. You might have a little box here to say I understand the risks, and click Play again. And this will just load up Fabric automatically, and then we will be able to play Minecraft with the dependency Cloth Config API onto our mods folder. Now you might want to do this to do two different things. Number one, edit the config of your mods directly in game and number two remove a crash because some mods might be needing you to have cloth config api and if you don't have it your game will crash even before you can play it so that would be the reasons why you want to use this so if we go to a single player world for example and once we are in a world you can play minecraft it doesn't change anything to the gameplay if you don't have any mods installed, of course, just like Fabric API, for example. But yeah, that's how you get Cloth Config API on your computer. So, 
If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!